How's it going, guys? Uh, sorry if I hurt your ears there. I got a new mic recently, but uh, yeah, we're just going to be doing another thing. If you don't know who I am, check the description. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and I've been doing all these leak code problems and kind of explaining them. So we already did uh, palindrome uh, integer or something like that, or reverse integer or something like that. Um, so right now we're going to do is a pal it's called palindrome linked list. That's uh, what this problem is called, and I'll leave the link in the description. It says, given a singly linked list, determine if it is a palindrome, right? So one, two is false. Uh, you know what a palindrome is. It's like um, race car spelled forward and backwards is a uh, race car. So that's a palindrome. And you can see one, two, two, one is a palindrome. Uh, you know, it's just the same forward as it is backwards. Uh, so the algorithm to do this is kind of the same as how we would do it in, you know, another palindrome problem. Um, basically what we're going to do, but yeah, basically what we're going to do is we're going to have um, two pointers at the head at the beginning. Uh, one of them is going to be moving faster than the other. So one of them is going to get to the end by, it's going to be a, the fast one. The fast one's going to get to the end of the list by the time the slow one gets to the middle of the list. And then we're, uh, basically going to reverse one half of the list, the, the right side of the list. And then, um, you know, iterate at it. Then we're going to iterate at the end and, uh, make sure they're exactly the same. I guess I'll explain it a little bit better after we write it. So I'm going to write it really quick. All right. So like I said, uh, we're going to have these, um, we're going to have these pointers, these initial pointers. One's going to be called fast. One's going to be called slow. Uh, we can call, we can do slow first, right? So list note slow equals head and list note fast equals head. Um, and then one's going to be going faster than the other, right? So fast is going to reach the end of the list first. So whenever you're, tra um, not traversing, but, um, you know, iterating through or, um, going through a linked list, you're going to want to have, you know, the, the current node, the, whatever node is going to hit the end first, you're usually going to want to have that end your loop. That's going to be your break condition basically. So while fast is not equal to, uh, null or, um, and fast uh, dot next is not equal to null. Um, this is going to be conditioned to, you know, tell us when to stop. Uh, fast equals fast dot next dot next, right? Because this one's going to be going double the speed, and slow is just going to be going one at a time, right? So slow is slow. The, the slow pointer is moving one note at a time as we go through the list and uh, linked list, and fast is going two notes at a time, right? So, you know, kind of just to show representation of that, if we have, you know, this is our linked list, right? These are the nodes, one, two, two, one, well, the node values. Slow and head both start at one, but slow is going to be going to two. Head would be going to this second two when at the, you know, first iteration. And then the, you know, with the final iteration, um, slow would end up at the second two and, uh, you know, fast would be null because it would go over one and it would end up being null. And that would break our um, loop there. Uh, so that's pretty much it. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to call this method we're going to write afterwards called sl uh, reversed. So slow is going to be equal to slow reverse. We're going to set back fast to head. So head fast really didn't even need to get to the end because um, we're just setting it right back to the beginning. S what slow is going to do, slow is at the middle node of our list by the end of um, this loop. And what slow is going to do is we're going to pass in a node and we're going to reverse all of the nodes from halfway to the end of the list. Um, so it'll be in reversed order. So if, you know, if the right half of the list was, um, so let's say the list is three, two, one, you know, three, two, one, one, two, three, right? Slow would be at one, right? And we would pass it in and it would reverse it. So it would be now three, two, one. So it's just reversing it and then slow is going to be at three and fast will be at three here. And we're going to iterate. We're going to loop down both of these. Basically, they're basically like sub lists at this point, even though they're not. But um, we're going to we're going to iterate until slow gets to the end here, which would get, you know, fast to halfway. And then we're going to make sure that, you know, as fast goes three two one, slow also goes three two one. And if there's any difference in the elements, then we know it's not a palindrome. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Uh, I'm trying to get better at explaining these as I do more and more, but uh, you know, I mean, this is only like the tenth one we're doing, so maybe maybe we'll get better eventually, and I'll maybe I'll redo them. But I feel like that makes pretty good sense uh, if you think about what I'm saying here. So uh, now that we have the reversed slow, so the ver the reversed right half and the regular front half, 
uh, all we're gonna have to do is do well slow is not equal null because slow is already at halfway um, so we just got to make sure that it they both go so slow slow equals slow dot next um, you know just moving along here like we were doing before now fast is only going one at a time slow is going one at a time and if there's a difference like I said uh, then it's false and that's the only case where it would be false and if we make it through all of this then it's true it's a palindrome should be obvious at this point why uh, now all we have to do is do public list node uh, reversed it takes in our list node slow right this is where we call reversed with the slow uh, and this will be called you know head or whatever and then all we have to do is uh, declare a previous node this is you know this is the more important method to kind of figure out here uh, so we're going to use a previous node in this case to reverse the right half of our linked list. And uh, all we have to do now is do make a condition while head is not equal null. And traverse kind of, I keep saying traverse because I've been doing a lot of tree problems. But uh, I think in list, linked lists, I'll, it's just called like going through or just iterating through the nodes in the list or something. But um, I guess you could say traverse, honestly, but um, so while head is not equal null, we're just going to be doing, uh, we're going to have the next node. So head dot next in, so let's say we pass in three, two, one, like in my example before, three would be the head, previous would be null, and next is our node that we're making is going to be head dot next. So next is going to be two, uh, and then we're going to do head dot next is set to prev. So head is three, we're gonna set next to null, right? So it's that's how we're reversing it basically. And then all we have to do then is update prev to head and update um, head to next, yeah, right? And then all we have to do after that is return prev and uh, prev by the end of it is just gonna be the head of the reversed list. So yeah i mean that's that's pretty much it this should uh you know submit fine be false what's wrong uh this should submit fine not a statement oh return false sorry yeah always have a little bit of a never get anything first try okay there we go 58.76 percent all right in two milliseconds there you go um so yeah like i said you have a linked list uh if it's one two three three two one, that's a palindrome, right? Because I kind of explained it. It's like how race car backwards is race car. You know, if you look R-A-C-E-C-A-R, -E one, two, three, one, two, three. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. So um, you have the head and fast initially at one. Fast goes double. So it gets to the end first. And by the time it gets to the end, slow is at the middle. Then you pass slow into this reversed method. It reverses the right half of the linked list, and then you just iterate from the beginning and the middle to the end, and they should be the same lists. So hopefully that makes sense to you. This is the reverse method. Maybe look into that a little bit more. You know, if you really dive into it and go step by step, you can see. Uh, so if it's one, two, three, it should be three, two, one in the end. So you pass in one, it's going to set one's next to null, but one's next right now is two. So setting it to null makes sense, right? Because it's you know, no, it would be one then null because, you know, before that is going to be two and then it's going to be three if you go through the rest of it, right? You know, because as you loop through it, um, previous keeps getting set to head, so, and uh, head.next keeps getting set to previous, right? That's where the changes are taking place, so. You know, uh, two dot next is getting set to one, and then three dot next is getting set to two, right? Because previous keeps getting updated to head. Uh, look into that a little bit more. Uh, let me know what you think of my explaining in the uh, comments below. I'm really trying to explain these good. Maybe I could do some whiteboarding stuff in the future. But uh, yeah, check me out on Twitch. Subscribe on YouTube, and thank you guys very much. Uh, you know, maybe I'll redo them, and um, I'll have some more videos, more leak code. Vi I have all the leak code stuff, so, you know, check it out in the future. Thank you, and see ya.